3 0. Let's attack the pawn, let's attack the center. Let's grab. Let's take the knight off the board, keep it simple. Nice A position, let's just castle. Just looking to rain everything down on here towards our king area. Uh, I might just even double the pawn up in front of the king. I don't have a problem with that. He wants to get his knight developed. Let's block this Fianchetto of Malarkey. Let's just go for the knight. See if we double the pawns in front of the king. Although we might hold back on that. Uh, they want us to do that because they want their rooks, obviously, to start running down. <coughs> And let's just get the knight across. Did he just miss something? Oh no, he took with the bishop. Didn't take with the pawn. Interesting situation. Let's push this pawn. Let's push onto the bishop. Let's attack the rook. Let's attack the pawn. Oh, maybe not just yet, not yet. Let's move the knight first. Pawns under attack. Gonna have to do one pass on. Move this pawn. And then we can look to see if we can trade. Which you would think he would go here. It's attacking the rook. We want to go trade anyway. So that gives us an excuse to get this out. Bishop looks like it's protected by the knight, doesn't it? But it's not. You can reverse think things, you know. The bishop's protecting the knight, but nothing is protecting the bishop. So very mindful of that type of illusionistic mirage thinking. So it looks like we're going to face a tactic or two now with them doing the long pause or not. Looks like they've left the game or they've left the game to think about the tactic. Some players just don't like these end game type things and oh, the back. So the thought of the tactic, we were going to come here and attack this pawn, but the bishop's protecting now anyway. And next best thing for us, probably could come here with the rook. Looking to double, but if he takes, knight takes, then the rook comes. And it's all a little bit disheveled, so maybe the king comes here. Still doesn't feel very safe there. Knight's here at the minute. So it looks like they understand the power of owning the file with the rooks. I'm just thinking if I do take, I might just be giving the power to them. And with them having this bishop here, it's going to block my king from defending. But I might be overthinking it. I might be over-respecting their position. Yep, the key finding from the over-the-board games recently played. Well, more recent than the others. Time-wise, the opponent's time is running out, which is good. And they are attacking, so can just simply take and open up the rook. And we can't take just yet because the bishop is there. I don't see a problem with taking here apart from them getting this pawn here. He's only got nine seconds left, so I can really do what I want, can't I? Yep. Let's go here like this. So they can move as fast as they want, but it's not really going to improve anything. There's nothing really wrong with our position. Looks fairly okay. Need to move this bishop out of the way, maybe. Let's just move it here. And then it's going to run out of time.
Okay, time management. 